What's up, Chanel? Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vital Vlog. And today we're gonna be blasting Anima Damata's Nefarious Sea Grows to Bring Forth Supremacy of the Beast. Holy shit! On Gods of War Productions and Malignant Voices. I love that logo so fucking much. It's so sick. <laughs> but this is absolutely insane. If you're a fan of black death metal, you need to check this out. Seriously, do not pass this up. It's fucking awesome. In every way possible. From the absolutely disgustingly evil artwork to just how savage everything about this release is and straight up evil. I need to do some research on some of these sigils. But that dude's in like a fucking gimp mask and stuff. It's fucking sick. These dudes definitely hate Christ. And yeah, that's fucking awesome. Oh man, I, I love this album. I've just been listening to it like in between listens of this next album I'm gonna be going over but this right here fuck yeah and thank you so much Gods of War Productions because you not only hooked it up but like I happened to see this band two years ago now and it was actually my introduction to uh, Live Fast Die Records Kevin from No Funeral no funeral in general, but also getting to see Pig's Blood live, and it was just vicious. And I was in love with their debut, and I honestly had no idea they were even doing a sophomore record until I saw it on my band camp, and like one day, I checked it out, and I just listened to one song, and I was like, holy fucking shit. And I spent I, I still like post it like every day because it's amazing and here it is in my hands right now a flock slaughtered the sophomore release from Milwaukee's pig's blood on gods of war productions holy fucking shit this is awesome seriously awesome 10 tracks of total fucking savagery. Like, wow. One instrumental track, but like, everything about this is fucking amazing. Like, seriously. Pig's Blood have somehow one up themselves. Also, the Greg Wilkinson production. This is one of the heaviest black death albums you are ever going to hear unless somebody one-ups it seriously like this is so goddamn good i i would say it's more death metal than it is like anything else but those war metal elements are definitely prevalent and sick oh my god i love this album you can ask my buddy Dennis, I just kept sending him clips of songs and was like, yo, check this out, check this riff out, check this part out, and yeah, this is in my top four right now, best releases of 2019. I, in the future, would love to get this on vinyl, for right now, holy shit. I'm pretty sure it's only available on CD right now. But, fuck, yes. Every song on here is just absolutely unrelenting. Filled with fucking venom and just hatred of the human species. It, oh my god. It's just so fucking good. Especially because it's from the, the Midwest. Like, these dudes are pissed off and are just ready to de just decimate 
Christianity and anyone who gets in their fucking way. Pig's Blood are one of those bands that do not fuck around. And all songs conceived by Pig's Blood in 2018, recorded, engineered, and mastered by Greg Wilkinson, fucking hails at the mighty Earhammer in Oakland, California, October 2018. On this recording, you have Horrible Person on throat, BG Blood Lunatic on guitars, Drug Pervert and Death Hammer on drums, and Hideous Destructor Goat Tyrant on lead guitars and bass. Front cover drawing by Warhead Art, back cover tank drawing by Horrible Person and Warhead Art. All other layout slash propaganda by Horrible Person. And this is just such a fucking sick release. I love how every song, and I know this isn't like a tip of the hat to Demi Lick either, but every song also has like parentheses with kind of a subtitle to it. Like uh, the opening track, which starts things off with a fucking bang and a half. But um, gates ripped open, parentheses, scum choking out the meek fucking sick. Every track on here. In Unamenable Death, Unspeakable Ones, Honored, Violent Spirit of Decadence, Humiliating the False, the false Triumphant, just all sorts of insane fucking songs on here, and one of my absolute favorites, Anti-Cosmic Discord, Meaningless Self-Sacrifice. Which I'm going to play for you guys as it is, in my opinion, one of the standout tracks on here. But every single song on here is a standout track. This is awesome. Do not sleep on this fucking release. Pig's Blood are one of those bands that I really don't feel like get enough tension, attention when it comes to like... Straight up death metal, bestial black death war, whatever you want to call it. Pig's Blood are one of those bands that in the underground, I'm sure you've heard this name thrown around, but like here on A Flock Slaughtered, they one up their fucking debut with just hands down right now. One of my favorite releases, the 2019. And that's saying a lot. Like, so much gnarly stuff came out this year so far. But, like, this is right next to Piss Grave right now, in my opinion. I am in love with this. And I, seriously, I'm a, I apologize, Dennis. I just kept sending him fucking, like, riffs and everything just because this... I, I'm, I was sitting there by myself listening to this on repeat. And was just like, yo, check this out, check this out, check this out. And I apologize, but Gods of War production and Milwaukee, Wisconsin's Black Death Metal Maniacs here in Pig's Blood on A Flock Slaughtered alongside Greg Wilkinson have created something very, very special in the subgenre of extreme Black Death Metal. As this is absolutely... One of the best examples of American black death metal in the game right now. Seriously. Right next to Antichrist, Siege Machine, Caveman Cult, Crew of Fragrium, Just to name a few. Like This is right up there with those guys. And Pig's Blood, A Flock Slaughtered. Amazing, amazing stuff as you're going to hear right now. All right.
I told you that shit was crazy.